just playing with markers you can see that and back in this video we are gonna see a project which is created with aruko markers and also i will share this project in my github so you can reach that uh, project from the link from the descriptions and also this project is a very simple augmented reality project maybe you will understand what's the how how you where you can use these aruko markers okay let's start it i already coded i will just un uh, explain what this code means and here basically i have two input stream which one first of all this one is an aquarium which i wanna use in my uh, project and this is the stream which this can be also your camera stream i already recorded before because now i'm rec uh, making a video for you so i'm not able to play with these markers so before i already recorded this video okay that video is my stream which is kept in and this is kept out is aquarium video then basically I'm here streaming them and here I'm uh, cloning my input image to use at the end of the code and these IDs and corners you are familiar with from the previous Aruko marker video so if you didn't uh, watch that before this before starting please watch it also and here I'm detecting markers also these are the four points which i want to use for warp perspective and here basically i already choose four marker id which is 0 34 30 and 4 what i mean is in here before i showed you this uh, markers and i already choose this one this one this one and this one you can choose any of these according to your uh, project I just choose four of them to use in my project okay i choose them and i also get their the middle point which is their uh, this points middle points i get from this uh, output of corners and i get their middle point and i push them to do points out in here this code basically do that and here input points which is the from the aquarium points which i'm getting from a doll from starting from left top and goes until bottom right so i'm getting four corners of the aquarium video and here is the destination points uh, these are my the points which is detected by aruko markers and after that i'm using warp perspective to be able to paste my aquarium video to the my to do a camera stream video i'm just pasting that video to camera stream yeah so if you are not aware of bar perspective and get perspective transform you can also watch my previous open cv video and okay then i'm just being sure all of the markers is detected then i'm just showing the output let's see the result okay you see here uh how it looks like let's make it more bigger and i'm just playing with the markers here you just don't see my hands and the markers and you see how it changes let's see until end okay yeah this is uh, like this and we, i can show you the real one also just here i'm adding the real world and i'm running again and this is the my ground and i'm just playing with markers you can see that and according to the i'm playing markers the points corner points of the destination image changing so what perspective also changing accordingly yeah like this i think you understand the point and uh, this is one of the example which you can use Aruko markers also I in the previous video I talked about you can use it for navigation you, for robot navigation you can use that for different kind of computer vision applications it's up to your imagination I think it's up to your algorithm how you designed the around and how you use them this is a very simple as I said but it's uh, good to understand the point of the Aruko markers and how you can use this is a simple example and I also share I will share this in my github and like that in this video I just wanted to show 
this simple project to you. See you in the next videos.